Hey guys, it's Emily Seagren. How are you doing, makeup marketers and Team Momentum? Happy Hump Day! It's Wednesday. You have made it through half the week. Congratulations. I got to tell you an interesting story here. I like to share my lessons through the Avon business as well as life lessons that I learn um, a lot of times in the business world. We all know how uh, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Um, <laughs> If you're nice and treat people well, sometimes you'll get walked on. I have a really good example here. Hey Terry, how are you? Um, so you all remember about two months ago, hi Arlena, uh, when a car crashed through the front of my store. Luckily, not hurting anyone, but causing uh, major damage. Well, my landlord was really good about getting it fixed and taking care of that part of it. Hi, Chris. Um, but we had to close for six days. So uh, being the nice boss that I try to be, I uh, still had my employees coming in to work and uh, still paid them even though I wasn't bringing in any money. Well, for the past two months, I've been in the monkey in the middle with the insurance company and my landlord. I would contact the insurance company. She said they need information from my landlord. My landlord kept pushing, pushing it off, pushing it off, and finally said, okay, we're gonna file through our own insurance, so go ahead and have them process your claim. Okay, so I go back, I'm like, oh good, you know, I can get this taken care of. I could really use that money. Uh, that's a loss of six days in sales. It hurts a small business owner. So um, I go to the lady at the insurance company and let her know that they're gonna file separately. Well, she still tells me she needs to wait for their claim. Um, meanwhile, my landlord said that their claim was less than $20,000 and that her limit is $100,000 for the total thing, so there's no reason that they can't cut my check. Well, I'm getting tired <laughs> of going back and forth and being a pain. I feel like I was being a pain in the butt, but I was actually being very nice. And it was, unfortunately, not getting me anywhere. <laughs> um, it's kind of sad that you live by the golden rule and you want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, but the longer I'm in business, the more I see that is not the case. <laughs> um, so sometimes, especially as a female, um, we need to be strong and we need to um, sometimes assert authority. Um, so it's not comfortable for me. I like being nice and polite, but when I get ignored or someone's not helping me with something, then I start to get pretty pissed off. Um, so I wrote her today. Okay, this lady has been... Um, ignoring my phone calls for the past like five days. She won't call me back. She won't email me. So today I said, I've been going back and forth with you for two months. I've been patient. I have been kind and obviously that is not getting me anywhere. I said I'm a small business owner and I have two children, 10 and six. We rely on this money. I said, uh, that I had thousands of followers on social media and I would hate to uh, give a negative review of my experience. Well, um, lo and behold, about an hour later, I had a voicemail from her that she's cutting the check today. Um, so unfortunately, what I learned here is sometimes you have to be more direct. You can't ignore conflict 
um, people will just walk on you sometimes. So, um, unfortunately, it took a threat from me, which I don't like, for her to even help me. Um, so, I hope you guys learn a lesson from that. Um, it was uncomfortable for me to say, hey, you know, I'm going to blast this out to thousands of people. <laughs> But it worked. So uh, sometimes in business and especially as females, um, we have to be uh, the B word, unfortunately, to get anywhere. So that's my story for today. I thought it was kind of humorous how she immediately responded. So the power of social media and being able to review a company um, for the world to see. So, <laughs> lesson learned, we need to be careful about what we put out there on social media, but we can also use it to our advantage. Uh, we can spread a message very quickly to a lot of people. <laughs> so, this time it worked in my favor. Um, okay, so let's go over our beauty buzz. And there's a lot going on right now. So uh, let's take a look. We have a jingle all the way video. Um, something that I do want to remind you guys um, is about how we promote our business online. Um, I know it's much easier to look at what Avon's doing and just hit that little share button and share it to our wall. Um, but the reality is that if you are sharing Avon's message, Avon's video, uh, there is a chance that your customer will not shop with you. Um, so don't just try to be incredibly active, uh, be smart about it. Uh, save your own images, upload them yourself. You will reach a lot more people if you upload yourself as opposed to sharing. Um, so be careful. Uh, I know Avon collects email addresses uh, through sweepstakes and um, like this warrior project. So um, just be careful that you are capturing your audience and and getting them to order with a representative and with you, the representative, and not just Avon.com. So uh, a lot of the videos and everything are, are very cool, but we want to make sure they come back to our website. So go to the social media center and share them that way so that people will uh, come to your rep website. Technology updates and improvements. Uh, it's, it's been a frustrating week, guys. I know. <laughs> um, unfortunately, Avon has to do these changes with technology. Uh, I think part of the problem is uh, separating all that data and information from the rest of Avon, Avon that is now worldwide. So uh, while we think they shouldn't be doing these technology updates at the most important time of the year, I don't think they have a choice. So uh, we accept it, we, um, we get around it, we work around it. If we sit there and complain and be frustrated, we're wasting time and it's probably making the frustrating feeling worse. So, um, example, my blogs were down over the weekend. Well, uh, my host was working on getting them back up. Um, I chose to do things to move other areas of my business forward. I, I made a couple videos. I posted to my team on Facebook. So, I uh, don't like technology glitches or obstacles in your Avon business get in the way of keeping you active and building your business. Okay, the holiday checklist. Um, so there's all kinds of flyers and images and stuff to make your holidays go well. 
Um, Avon has provided a holiday checklist. You can find that in the files section of Makeup Marketing Online or Team Momentum. Um, it's a checklist to hand out with your books so your customers can write down gift ideas for all their loved ones and friends. Um, I, I love that and I love all of the designs that other reps have created where we can share online. Social selling show. So that is going to turn into a once a week thing. And... Uh, they are going to be mostly on Wednesday, Wednesdays. So you can register at avon.com slash social selling um, and learn how to build the business and bring website visitors and shoppers to your site. Uh, a virtual sales meeting is happening next week, and that would be on Tuesday, November 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern, so make sure you sign up for that. Um, you can find all of these updates when you log into YourAvon.com and click on that Beauty Buzz uh, news feed right there. Save the date for Rep Fest, July 27th through the 29th. They have not announced the location yet, uh, but mark that down on your calendar as it's usually in August. So uh, make note of that change, July 27th through the 29th. Um, this coming Thursday, November 9th at uh, 8 p.m. Central. I will have my new representative webinar, uh, so feel free to join that, whether you're new or you're a leader and you want to get ideas for motivating your new representatives. So I sent you out an email invite yesterday. Uh, sorry about the typo. I forgot to update the October date. So uh, that's one disadvantage with starting with a template, because if you forget to update some stuff, uh, you're giving out wrong info. <laughs> um, so sorry about that. I, I have made uh, two videos to help with your sales. So I have a campaign 26 sales tips and a campaign one sales tips. And then I also did a video on earning the cruise like a boss incentive. So be sure to check those out. Um, double dollars in campaign 26 and 1. I also did a video explaining what double dollars are and how it can help you um, for the end of the cycle to try and reach President's Club or your other uh, goal sales levels. So uh, come up with creative ideas for campaign 26 and one. Maybe you want to do um, a discount to uh, really boost your award sales. So there can be benefits to providing uh, discounts and incentives from you yourself. Uh, you do have to be careful that you don't do it too often and you don't do too much because you're taking away from your own profit. Uh, but when they do specials that are going to help you reach the next sales level, uh, it's, it's helpful to be creative and come up with ways to boost sales for those specific campaigns. Um, the Warrior Woman Challenge is going on on the USA Representative Facebook page. So you can show your own makeup look and you can have the chance of winning all of the products, over a hundred of them from Avon Project Runway. Holiday bundles. You can get a discount on two different holiday bundles and uh, you'll get 50% earnings if you sell all of them um, at the recommended brochure price. The A box. Uh, so if your A box, if it's not successful for you, if you're not having luck selling them, uh, without having it on hand. Here's what I recommend. Um, I recommend that you buy them anyways uh, with each $40 purchase if your customer passes up the opportunity. 
Um, it'll only co it'll cost you, I guess it depends on what your commission level is, but uh, for me it would only cost me $5 and I could either sell them at the $10 price with no other commitment so that they get to try out some of these cool products at a very low price. Um, so you can take advantage that your customer did not buy it, but still buy it yourself and sell it. Um, or you can do it as a free gift with purchase. So I like to offer a free gift or a discount with $50 purchases because <laughs> you like to get them boosted up there. Um, I think that the A box will sell much better in hand in person when you show it to them than it will if you just show them the picture in the book. So definitely try both strategies. Uh, you do want to point it out when people are ordering from you. Um, but then there's some other creative ways to use it in your business if your customers aren't taking advantage. Um, updated holiday processing schedules. So I also have the campaign schedules for holidays in our files section on Makeup Marketing Online and on T-Momentum. So make sure you print that out. Uh, Christmas time is the only time of year where our due dates uh, get shuffled around a little bit. So it can be a little confusing. Um, even after 10 years, I still have to look at those calendars to remember what happens. Um, free shipping is extended. So that goes through today. And yesterday I did a video on marketing coupon codes online. Um, Aspira, there is a webinar on that. Um, I think it's tonight. So make sure you register for that. Um, I just had my shake. Uh, rich chocolate, power protein, uh, bananas, strawberries, ice, and almond milk. So that was really good. I hope you guys are enjoying your Aspira. I've been on the multivitamin now since Rep Fest. Um, I'm a big fan of the products so far. So get excited about launching our health and wellness line and adding to our income after the first of the year. Uh, so that's about all I got. Uh, Team Momentum is doing great. We had some title advancements. We have people adding team members every day. So uh, get involved with our events, watch our my training and watch my webinars, and then also follow Avon Corporate and get involved with their events as well. Um, it's an exciting time of the year. So keep your excitement high, uh, go for those incentives, and build those sales. All right, guys, uh, you have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.